What up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is all about Sailor Moon news and reviews for merch products as well as the anime and manga. So if you are interested in Sailor Moon and love it as much as I do, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. This week I have a shopping haul. Yeah, it's not a mailbox day like I normally do. It's not an unboxing. It's actually a shopping haul from a local place. Now growing up I used to live in Missouri and we didn't really have any shopping located anywhere near where I lived for anime and manga. And I had been in love with anime and manga since like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 11 years old. So it would be relatively impossible for me to find any kind of merch products for any of the shows that I really enjoyed. I remember having to travel like one hour away from where I live to actually find a good comic book store. And when I got there, the most that I could normally find at that comic book store was like, Sailor Moon trading cards, and that was about it. If I wanted anything from Japan, I would have to go on, I believe I was using like Amazon auctions at the time, which was a thing. But nowadays, it's so much easier to find things. Luckily, now that I live in the San Francisco Bay Area though, it's really easy for me to go to any local store in Japantown or down in Oakland and find something that I really want. And today, I have one of those shopping hauls for you because I found a local comic book store that was carrying tons of Sailor Moon merchandise and a lot of these items you just cannot find near MSRP prices. So the place that I went to is Dr. Comics and Mr. Games. It's over on Piedmont Avenue in Oakland, California. But when I got there I was insanely surprised that they had all of these Sailor Moon items for sale, especially because the prices were amazingly good. Of course they were slightly over what you would pay in Japan but I'm not surprised given that we have to pay shipping and customs and stuff like that so I wasn't really upset about that at all. So first off thank you Dr. Comics and Mr. Kames for not only having Sailor Moon items in stock but also not price gouging people because I see that so often on eBay and it's so hard to find a lot of these older items. I really appreciate that you had prices that were fair so that I was able to purchase all of these items that I really, really wanted in my collection. So I'm gonna hold the most interesting one until the end, so stick around for that. But first off, I'm gonna show you this huge collection of petite chata that I was able to find. Okay, so check out this stack. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But I was able to find each of these for a really fair price. Uh, these top two, you can actually find online for about the same prices. These were $14 each. And these are the cute little Yukata's versions of Sailor Moon as well as Chibi Moon. And this is the purple version that she's in and then the red version that she's in. I don't know if these were limited edition, but they do go along with the other versions of the Yukata's that I have them in. So these are so adorable. These next two I already have in my collection but this is awesome because I'm able to keep these ones in the box and they're in pristine perfect condition. Uh, this first one is the Black Moon Petite Chata and I was able to find this one for I think it was around $60 or so is what they were selling it for which was amazing. So I went ahead and purchased these ones. I don't believe they've ever been taken out of the box so these ones are going to remain in there since I already have them again. Same thing with these little beauties which were very close to MSRP prices. These are the Super S editions of the Petite Chata with Chibiusa and Pegasus or Elias. So I was really happy to find these as well. And these are going to be the inbox version for my collection. These next two collections of Petite Chattas I'm going to be taking out of the boxes because I don't have these up here displayed quite yet. So the first ones are the three lights. So this is from the Sailor Moon Stars series. Uh, these ones do feature all three of the characters as well as Usagi and she's in her very cute schoolgirl uniform. These are still really easy to find online, but I was able to get these for $43 and I was like, that's a great price. So I'm going to go ahead and get them locally and support one of the local comic book stores because why not? So I went ahead and purchased those. And lastly is my favorite petite chara find while I was there. This is the 25th anniversary Dark Kingdom edition. You won't believe how much these cost in store. They were less than $90. I got them for 89 bucks. You can't even find these online for under $100. And if you do, good luck. I mean, it's so hard to find these now, especially new in box like this. Yeah, you can find used ones for under 100 bucks, but not new in box. But I'm definitely taking these out of the box. And you know what's crazy though? 
I saw these on sale at the Sailor Moon store back when I visited last year in 2017 and I didn't buy them. I don't know why I didn't buy them. Ridiculous, I know, but at the time I was like, I'm not gonna collect those, they're silly little toys. But then I saw them out of the box and I thought they were adorable, so then I started collecting them. So I missed out on the great sales at the Sailor Moon store, but luckily Dr. Comics and Mr. Games, y'all had them, so I bought them. Okay, so next up are a couple of different, actually, Actually, a series of different figures. Uh, the first one is Usagi Skino in her world uniform operation figure. Uh, this one is Usagi Skino in her schoolgirl uniform and it looks like she has some wind blowing around her. Uh, these ones you can still find for fairly good prices online so I was able to find her for, where's the price on this? 64 bucks. That's not bad at all and she's new in box, never been opened and I was really excited to find her but not only her I also found Eno Minako. So I found Sailor Venus in her schoolgirl uniform as well and now I have three of them which I'm super excited about but she looks wonderful. She's new in box too and she costs 70 bucks so not bad as well. But I'm pretty sure that my ultimate find was this last one. So the whole reason I decided to venture to this comic book store is because my friend went there, my coworker, uh, during one of the work days. He was just taking a break, you know? And uh, he sent me this picture. Yes, this one. And at the very top of that picture, I saw this beautiful figure. It's Osaka Naru, who you can't even find. She is so freaking rare. I don't know why she's so rare. I have no clue. But usually you find her online and she's more than 200 bucks. Guess how much I got her for? Guess. $80. 80 bucks! That's amazing! So I was so excited about her. I like rushed there after work because unfortunately I could not take the day off. But I rushed over there and I grabbed her and I was like, excuse me sir, do you have a box? And they gave me a box for all the items because I basically cleaned them out. I did leave a few items that I already had in my collection and I didn't feel like purchasing on that day because I needed to stay within my budget. But Naru, you are my holy grail find of the day. I am so happy that I found her. I waited patiently until I found her at a decent price and she was there waiting for me. So now all I'm missing from that world uniform collection is Sailor Jupiter, who I have found online all throughout the time. I've seen her used on eBay for pretty decent prices, and I don't mind if they're used. If they come with the box, that's totally fine. Mercury is going to be a little bit harder to find. I haven't seen her on eBay. I haven't seen her anywhere. Nobody's been reselling her anywhere. So hopefully I can find Mercury and add her to the world uniform operation group that I have, and then I will have all six of them, which I'm very excited about. So that was my shopping haul from Dr. Comics and Mr. Games. Of course, again, this is not a sponsored video, and if it was, you would know because I make that very crystal clear in my videos since I do YouTube full-time as a day job. If you want to see a review of any of the products that I showed you today, definitely leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to show you more Sailor Moon items because it is a passion of mine. I love Sailor Moon and I always have and I probably always will. In fact, I want to get a Sailor Moon tattoo. Did I just say that online? I think I did. That means it has to happen now. What was I thinking? Anyway, pretend you didn't hear that. I'm Sailor Snubs and I'll see you next time. Johnny.